So Alehees is a little village on the very southwestern tip of Ireland. It's it's in the Bear Peninsula, which is a peninsula that juts right out into the Atlantic Ocean. And Alehees is just this tiny little village, um, but with a huge history. Um, because in the 1800s it was owned, the whole district of Alehees and the surrounds was owned by an English landlord, as was the custom in all of Ireland at the time. John Puxley, who initially, when he was given the lands of Alleghese, was very disappointed because all he thought he had inherited this low, um, rock, rocky, rocky, mountainous land, which was not arable in any shape or form. But actually, when a friend of his came over from to visit from England, who had been involved in the mines in, in, in Cornwall, and went on a hunting trip over the mountain, and saw the veins of copper, he brought it to John Puxley's attention that he actually was sitting on, I know you say sitting on a gold mine, in our case it was sitting on a copper mine. He recognized the copper veins in the rock and from there the story began. He brought over um, miners from Cornwall to, and some engineers to do initial um, surveying of the rock and there they had they just discovered that they actually had discovered what was to become the most lucrative and the biggest of all the copper mines in the entire British Isles. It was that big. So Mr. Puxley, needless to say, was he changed his mind about, about his inheritance. Um, so he went on to be an incredibly wealthy man as a result of that. And um, and of course there was, you know, there was at, at the height of production, there was about 1,600 people working in the mines there, which was huge when you considered the tiny little area that it was. Um, so it was massive, massive in, in industry at a time in the 1800s when, when the Industrial Revolution was just beginning. In fact, you know, it, it, it began in Alleghese really, but there was nothing else happening in anywhere else. It was all happening in Alleghese, this wonderful feat of engineering, uh, quite extraordinary for the time. Um, so yeah, that's the back. And as I say, you know, the price of copper went down, and, and eventually in the late 1800s it began to peter out, and it coincided with the opening up of the Butte mine. So it was a natural progression for, as I said, for for the miners to to emigrate over to Butte, where they found ready ready-made work, and you know, made made good lives for themselves. Lots of them now. I know there was a lot of hardship and. You know, we saw that and we heard the story about the fire in the mine, you know, there's so much sadness and so much hardship, but I think, you know, they definitely, they had a better life, I would imagine, a much better lifestyle than the one they had left at home, which was, which was one of poverty. So they did make money here, they had nice houses, they had conveniences, you know, and they had, they had, they, they had fantastic, and what we're after learning, what we always heard when we grew up, but what we definitely have, um, you know, learned since we came is that there was an amazing community spirit here amongst the Irish, but particularly amongst the, you know, the Bear Irish. And, uh, and it's obviously living to this day.